Emma. I'm a senior studying wildlife biology at the University of Michigan Flint. And I'm Megan. I'm also a senior studying wildlife biology. I'm Justin. I'm a senior studying wildlife biology at U of M Flint. I'm Amber. I'm a senior studying anthropology. I'm Jenna. I'm a senior studying wildlife biology. Welcome, Welcome to, to Flushing Township, Township Nature, Nature Park, Park in Flushing, Michigan. Michigan. We have adapted this floodplain forest for our forest ecology class to fully assess its complete ecosystem. Floodplain forests are interesting <laughs> due to the number of different landscapes that can be found within one area. Check out this figure. This figure clearly shows us the distinct difference of each landscape within the river valley, along with the tree species that are commonly found in each section. We have assessed the levee, first bottom, back swamp, second bottom, and low terrace. We are so excited to share our results. It is typically a feature located adjacent to the river where the coarsest sediment is deposited by the fastest moving floodwaters. In comparison to other parts of the floodplain, levees have soil of coarser texture and greater depth to water table, which result in better soil drainage and soil aeration. The dominant overstory species include Caria cardiformis, the bitternut hickory, and our understory dominant species, who are all almus species. Hi, welcome to the first bottom. This low, poorly drained bottomland, located adjacent to the levee, formed by the present drainage system and subject to frequent over the bank flooding, soil texture is typically finer than the levee. The first bottom is typically composed of low levees and adjacent shaded depression in the land, creating a landscape feature where small differences in elevation can lead to large differences in the frequency and duration of flooding, flood water depth, and the distribution of vegetation. There is no overstory, so there's no dominant overstory vegetation. The understory is composed mainly of Rus glabra. The soil texture of both O and A are silty clay, and we have a neutral pH of seven. I'd like you to notice the abundant and frolicking wildlife. Rare sight. Thanks for joining me. This is MTV Cribs special presentation. Welcome to my crib at the next one. Back swamp is more poorly drained at lower elevation and composed of finer textured soil than the first bottom. Soil usually remains saturated due to the lower elevation, higher water table, and more moderate water level fluctuations. <laughs> the dominant overstory species are Acer rubrum and Acer sacrum. Acer sacrum enjoys growing in music deciduous forests with moist, well moderately well drained, fertile soils from sand to clay textures, highly shade tolerant tree. <laughs> Dominant understory species are snags. There's not much understory that can grow. The O texture was clay loam, the A texture was clay, and the pH was seven. All right, um, so we're in the second bottom. This is adjacent to the first bottom and at a slightly higher elevation. It's flooded less frequently and for a shorter time than the first bottom, and it may contain any of the topographic features of the first bottom. The dominant overstory species is Celtis occidentalis, Acer sacrum, and Acer nigrum. The dominant understory species is the same as the overstory. For the soil, the O layer texture was clay loam, the A layer texture is clay loam, and the pH of the A layer is 6. Here we are at the lower terrace. Terraces are abandoned floodplain surfaces that were formed by historical drainage systems and are not subject to cycles of erosion. The dominant overstory species of this lower terrace is Populus granditana and Populus deltoides. The dominant understory species are Acer nigrum and Caria cordiformis. The soil texture of the O layer is loam and the soil texture of the A horizon is sandy loam with a pH of 5.5. Between the years 1638 and 1640, the Sauk tribe located somewhere along the Flint River were attacked by Ojibwe warriors. The survivors fled to a small island within the Saginaw River. It became known as Skull Island. The previous battles fought in Flushing are believed to be located on present-day Mill Street in downtown, as well as another one roughly one mile above Flushing. So here we are at the Flint River, which runs directly through the Flushing Township um, nature park 
And so for some fun facts on hydrology, um, river valleys are linear depressions that contain a river channel and its floodplain, which is often embedded within a series of higher terraces, which we have shown you. Um, river valleys are formed by the meltwater of glaciers and they occur in glacial outwash channels. Um, the river floodplain is a low-lying area adjacent to the river that was formed under the present uh, drainage system and is subject to periodic flooding and cycles of erosion. In contract, the terraces are former um, floodplain surfaces at higher elevations that, um, that then the floodplain had abandoned. Retake. <laughs> and is deposited. Uh.